Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Bortman Bakery. This is, these are all their shortbread cookies, or these are all the shortbread cookies that I found. And they're sugar-free. Yeah, they're all sugar-free. I would have thought for sure we would have tried these because we love the Bortman wafers. They're like mm -hmm. some of the top wafer right, cookies. Um, but we have not tried these sugar-free uh, sugar shortbread cookies. These were three eighteen each at Walmart. I have the shortbread, the pecan shortbread. And the fudge stripe So, and I bought, um, I bought their, all their sugar-free cookies. So we're gonna be working our way through all of them. I just figured we would start with the, to me, what's gonna be the plainest part. Shortbread. These are big. Mm. These remind me the looks of them of you know you get that was it Royal yeah. Dansk oh, mm. in the in the yeah. blue tin and they have different uh, shapes. Yeah, this is like one of the shapes. It looks like a world to me. Yeah, a world. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a little shell or something like the shape on it. Baked with real vanilla, no artificial colors or flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. Uh, let's see, it is. One cookie is 90 calories, which is really good for this size because mm -hmm. it's a big cookie. And there's 12 in the package. They look like this. You can tell they're sugar-free because they don't have a lot of like sugar sweetness there. But it does taste like just your basic shortbread cookie. There's a little butter butteriness there. Butteriness. There is butter there. It's um it's missing the sweet. Oh, yeah. um, the in uh, typically in the regular shortbread cookie, you would have it would be sweeter. Yeah, and it would be butter and it'd have a little saltiness there, just a touch. You still do get butter. It's yeah. just not to the level. It's just not as rich. And it there is a sweetness there. It's again not to the right. level exactly. of the regular. I like the texture of them. They're not hard. They're kind of a softer. Crunch. I agree, and I do think uh, they would be good with a cup of coffee or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't like shortbreads because I think they're all plain, but these are a very plain, so you'd want to almost eat them with something else. <laughs> I think if you are, are doing uh, trying to go sugar-free, if you need to go sugar-free, if you're diabetic, or uh, for whatever reason, I think if you like shortbread cookies, I think I don't think these would disappoint you. Because, no, they're not bad. And they're you're just, getting a really good sized cookie for 90 calories. Again, so, if you're eating shortbread, you're used to a plain cookie anyway. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because all shortbreads are, are plain. These are the pecan shortbread, and they're also 90 calories. So it would be interesting is to see if you could. You're, you're getting the same calories for whichever one you choose. So. Which one's going to have the most flavor? So the pecans, you can actually see little pieces. And I'll have a picture for you at they, the end. They feel a little harder. They do. They feel crisper. Yep. Um, this is uh, same thing. No artificial colors or flavors. Baked with real pecan. I like the broken one. Huh? I like the broken one. The broken pieces. That does have a little bit more flavor. They're also a little crunchier. It says now baked with milk and eggs. Mm. How do you think they made them before? Mm -hmm. Without milk or eggs. <laughs> um, that does have more flavor. You can absolutely taste the pecans. Oh yeah, you taste the pecans. It is, the difference is that the, there's a te texture difference. I like the texture of the shortbread more but I love the flavor of that yeah. pecan. That is, that's delicious. Yeah, I would, the pecan's definitely more flavorful, for sure. Yes. And but I do the, like that softer crunch, the softer texture, yes, more crumbly too. almost in the short But I don't pecan. know that you could ever get that texture with these because no, of those pecans. Pecan. If I had the choice, if I'm gonna spend 90 calories on one of these, I'm gonna go with the pecan because it has so much mm -hmm. flavor. More flavor. Yeah. And you still get the older, that buttery kind of flavor mm -hmm. too. It, it's very, very good. Okay, now we're going to move to some fudge. fudge. I'm interested in this because sugar-free chocolates generally aren't that great. It says baked with real cocoa. Now, uh, we've wow. jumped up. Huh? We've jumped up to 130 calories. For one cookie? Yeah, but they're big. They've all yeah, been that's big. True. 
I mean, think about how little an Oreo yeah, is. An Oreo is that big and it's 70 calories. Yeah, this is this is not a fudge stripe. Look how Yeah, that's what I was expecting is. is a fudge stripe. That is like twice as thick as a fudge stripe. Yeah, it's, he it's heavy. Oh my gosh, yes, it's a, that's actually a heavy cookie. I'm impressed. Wow. <laughs> that's a cookie. Okay. It does kind of have a fudge kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. it, the only problem is that the fudge is not a sweet fudge. It's kind of a, it's kind of a flat fudge flavor. I, I think it's really nice. It's good. If I had to have sugar free, hundred percent, I'd buy that. Absolutely. Um, if I don't have to have sugar free, though, I'd, there's other cookies I'd buy. But um, but I do think they're really really good. I do too. Um, I think this is a great option for anybody mm -hmm. who needs sugar free. The, the fudge doesn't, um, it doesn't come across as, it just doesn't have a strong flavor. Right. It adds a texture to it because yeah. it is thick. You do get a whole layer of it on the bottom and then you get the stripes on top. So I think this adds more texture than your traditional fudge stripe cookie yeah. because that, you can taste it more, but it doesn't add much for texture. These actually are adding some texture to it. I do get that fudgy they, flavor though. You a do, little bit. Yeah, you do get a flavor. It's just not as strong. It's not as strong. Right. Yeah. Um, I still think those are delicious cookies. Yeah, they're still good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't think I would buy those. Though. I'd rather have the pecan shortbread. I would too. Yeah. Out of the three. And it has nothing to do with calories. It's all about the flavor. I think these are all three very good options. I yeah. truly, truly do. Um, but out of the three, I think we're both picking the mm -hmm. pecan. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor to it. Yeah, overall, just a really, really good cookie. Uh, but if you've had any of these, you'll have to let us know. Do you have a favorite? Is there one you buy all the time? Um, and I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.